Hey YouTubers, good morning, Trump Oven. Got a good video today. We're doing another food fight video. We're gonna do one pudding, sonic pudding. I never heard of them before. Last week we did a food fight, it was 45 minutes too long. Some people said that was too long. And uh, this one we'll try it four and a half minutes. <laughs> what we got going is uh, Sonic chocolate shake, strawberry shake, banana shake. What a brilliant marketing uh, idea to put the word shake in the back of your pudding. Who doesn't want a shake? And they're all made with two cups of milk. It's instant. You mix it up. Because these really aren't healthy, it's a processed food, I decided I'll try an experiment. About eight years ago, I made a pudding uh, from scratch with garbanzo beans and eggs and so on. I'll leave a link to it. But uh, I said, let's try that again. I did it with the strawberry. So this is going to have a can of drained like four times. And uh, it was mixed up with the strawberry. And we'll see how it tastes and compared to the other two. So the first one. Oh, by the way, we're going to put the results. Show the big board, George. You see everything. You, you, you see the big board. <laughs> uh, this is our board. We're going to be looking at the cost, look, the smell, the feel, the taste, the number of ingredients, and the value. We're going to be judging them from 1 to 10 and see which one we like the most out of them all. So in the end, we'll have... Someone said these food fight videos are like the farm project videos on YouTube. Now, what a wonderful comment. That's probably one of my favorite review channels on YouTube. So let's try the chocolate first. This was made with two cups of milk. It total was $1.42 plus the milk comes to $1.80. So it, it uh, doesn't have any film on it. It, it. it looks like pudding. And there's actually a little bit of a chocolate smell to it. And hmm. when you put it in your mouth, it has a nice feel. It's not really dense. There's, it's sort of like a milk chocolate taste. It doesn't last too long. It dissipates kind of quick. But there's a chocolatey smell. There's no aftertaste, like chemical or anything. And it's 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 sweet but not too sweet and it has a, has a fresh taste rinse off the spoon for the next one we'll be trying the experiment the one i made with the can of garbanzos i use my vitamix and this is two cups of milk over the smell the smell has a berry aroma to it. It's a little bit more uh, uh, thick than the other pudding. There's a fiber mouthfeel. There's no grit or anything. There's nothing you, you feel with your teeth, but you can tell. There's fiber, and you should because <laughs> there's 16 ounces of chickpeas in the moment and the Vitamix. And this adds, Lordy, I think it adds how many grams of protein? Uh, six, 18. It adds 21 grams of protein, the whole can. So it, 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 it doubles the amount of protein in your, uh, and, and the co total cost would be 258 That includes the milk and $1.42 for the packet of the Sonic. The Sonic pudding is more expensive than the other brands. Um, like I said, it has no beanie taste at all that I can tell. But it does have a little bit of a, uh, a fiber taste to it, uh, a feel to it. And the ingredients in it was because the chickpeas has four ingredients and the milk and so on. It was about 20 ingredients total. The next one is the banana shake. There's a little bit, ooh, I got some on my nose. <laughs> uh, let me rinse off the spoon. No. 
I ate this once before and it's my favorite, so I'm kind of biased. Try it again. This has a creamy taste to it, and it doesn't have a strong banana flavor, but it, it's close. It uh, This reminds me of the filling you'd get in Eclairs. It's a very creamy, sweet, uh, it's got a pleasant texture. I'll be honest, though, this has been in my refrigerator for two days now. And when I first used it, I ate it, it was uh, uh, like frothy. It was, and I didn't use an electric blender, I just used a regular whisk. And it was frothy. The, the texture was amazing. Now it's more dense than before. But, hmm. Overall, I would say that's my favorite. It has a good look. The smell is fine. The feel in the mouth is good. There's no strange aftertaste. And it's got uh, a, a good, good flavor. And once again, it was a dollar forty-two for the for the pudding mix, and the milk total came to a dollar eighty. So, if you're looking for a uh, pudding, which is a processed food, it's probably not healthy for you. Hmm. But if you're going to pick something that's not healthy. <laughs> You might as well get the one that tastes the best. And in my opinion, the banana shake, the banana shake, um, let me let up the score. Let's add up the score. Okay, the banana shake, it looked very good. The smell was okay. The feel in the mouth was very, very good. And the taste was good. And I don't count the ingredient number. And the total is 32. The chocolate shake, very, very, looked very good. Smell was fine. The feel was very good. And the taste was very good. Give it 31. The strawberry chickpea shake, it was, it was okay. The, it, looked, it, it was a little more dense than the others. The smell was as good as, good as the others. The feel in the mouth, no, you had some fiber. It, it not as good as the others at all. And the taste, it wasn't as puddingy. It, it is it tasted like something was supposed to be good for you. <laughs> I give it a 28. But uh, so that is my food fight review for the Sonic Shake Pudding Mixes. If you guys have any recommendations of other food fight videos I can make, perhaps food that might be more healthy, <laughs> let me know in the comments. And I'll certainly try to do them in the future. All right, guys. Take care. See you out there.